When we are solving a system of equations in which one equation is a quadratic and the other equation is a linear equation, we can easily use the system of substitution to find our answer or our solution points. For example, this linear equation can easily be substituted. This expression for y can be substituted into our quadratic equation for the value of y in the quadratic equation, and then we can use our strategies uh, to solve our quadratic equation and figure out what the zeros or the x values are at the solution point. So let's start by trying that. If we substitute negative 12x plus 36 for the y values in our quadratic equation, we get negative 12x plus 36 equals x squared minus 11x minus 36. Now, the only variable that we have in here is x, and we can solve for x. So let's simplify this out. x squared minus 11x, if we bring this term over to this side, that gives us plus 12x. And then if we bring this term over to this side, we get negative 36 minus another 36 equals 0 x squared plus x, negative 11 plus 12, is x minus 72 equals 0. And this does not look like an equation that is easy to factor out, so let's use our completing the square strategy to figure this one out. First, let's um, isolate x by moving the 72 over to the other side, which gives us x squared plus x equals 72, and we know that we have to add the b value, which is 1, b over 2, and square all of that to both sides of the equation to make a perfect square trinomial, and b, which is 1, over 2 is 1 half, and square that, that gives us 1 fourth, and we'll add 1 fourth over here as well. And then we can turn this into a squared binomial, which would be x, plus one-half squared equals 72 and a quarter, which I'll write as 72.25 just to make calculations easier for now. Then we can take this entire phrase over there and take the square root of x plus one-half squared and the square root of the other side, 72.25, which gives us x plus 1 half equals plus or minus 8.5, and we if, if we simplify that out, we get our two possible x values, which are x equals 8 or x equals negative 9. Now it's time to plug these x values back into our original y equation to figure out what our y coordinates are at the solution point. So when x equals 8, y equals 12, sorry, negative 12 times 8 plus 36. So if we work that one out, our first solution point is 8, negative 60. And if we plug in the next point, x equals negative 9 into the equation, that gives us y equals negative 12 times negative 9 plus 36. And if we work that out, we get y equals 144. So our second solution point is at negative 9 and 144. So the, this system of solutions has two solution points to this system of linear and a quadratic solution, and those solution points are 8, negative 66, and negative 9, 144.